All right. Wonderful. All right, everybody. This is Drupal Internals, the settings.php file. What, what we're looking at here is a settings.php. It's the default settings.php file that ships with Drupal Core. So if you have a Drupal 7 download and you look in your sites slash default directory, you're going to find default settings.php. This contains all the settings that are site specific. So if you have a site at example.com, then you're going to have, and you're only hosting one site, then you're you would copy this file to settings.php, then you would install Drupal, and the Drupal installer will install a whole bunch of things here in the, it'll, it'll set all these settings for you. So this is a machine readable, uh, this is like a, like bookends, so that the installer will configure your, your settings.php with your database username, database password. This is relatively new. This has been backported to Drupal 6. Uh, this makes sure that all of your, your, uh, Encoding collation is, is set to UTF-8 general. And uh, does anyone know the difference between this and UTF-8 Unicode? It, well, that's what the CI stands for. But the difference is that general is a lot faster. It's a lot faster. It doesn't support some things like ligatures and Egyptian hieroglyphics. So if you need ligatures or you need hieroglyphics, then UTF general, UTF-8 general is... It also doesn't recognize the between uh, accents on characters. That's right. So something like Eva will be seen the same as Eva if you're French. So that's a distinction that you have to keep in mind when you're using UTF-8. Right. So these are all things that you can set when you're, when you're installing Drupal 7 through the Drupal 7 installer. So what we're looking at here is something that normally you wouldn't need to change unless you're moving a site from one server to another or uh, for some reason, you just change your database password and you need to change it back. This is where you can do it. Anything that shows up in settings.php will override any setting you have anywhere else, whether it's set by a module, set by a site config form in, in uh, the Drupal 7 uh, in, uh, administration pages. Uh, even if, you have, uh, if you're calling another file to have your settings in it, like a settings.inc, settings.php will always override anything and everything that is set anywhere else. So moving on, since I have how much more time? Two and a half minutes. Oh God. Okay. <laughs> All right. So that is. Uh, uh, I'll, I'll go into Drupal Internals multi-site edition another time. I'm skipping everything that has to do with multi-site and uh, database master servers and slave servers and so that's the new databases array. Can you put your database settings in another file? Yet? Yes, you can. Okay. You can definitely do that. You can even do that with Drupal six. Question was, can you put your database settings into a different file? Do an inquiry. No. Yes, so the question is, well, can you say it loudly for the... If you can put your database settings in a separate file without adding it. But Why is that really thing. important? So Reverse moving control. on. Yes. That's it. Oh, yeah. Uh, Reverse uh, control. If, if you're doing something with Git, Reverse control. Yeah. Especially Git, where the branch changes. Fortunately, this is still recording for all Five of you. And a half minutes? who are sitting at home. Okay, so then we have uh, a new feature in Drupal 7 that when anytime someone requests a one-time login link, one, but there we go. Drupal 7 can now add salt. There it is, thank you. So salt is, it's a little extra ingredient. Uh, what Drupal uh, has done in the past. Uh, in, uh, all right, if anybody wants to do the rest of this at the bar, then we'll do it at the bar. But salt is, it's an extra ingredient so that, uh, so when you, hmm. all right, how about this? When, here is what a Drupal 7 settings.php looks like after you've installed Drupal 7. So here's the salt that the Drupal 7 installer put in my settings.php. Um, okay. What that does is it makes a lot of uh, Drupal 7 core more secure. So when it emails you a one-time login link, it's really randomly generated with salt that no one else knows. And uh, in the past, it was theoretically possible for someone to, to find out when you created your account, what your user ID was, your email address, and all that stuff. And, and theoretically, they could have actually generated a one-time login link manually, opened it in a browser, and logged in as you. So this prevents that from happening. The base URL is great. <laughs> is that my time? That's your time. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! All right. But I think 
think Chris Stefano, not having enough time to discuss even some of the, you know, handful of new things added to Settings PHP brings up a good point. Those that have been coming from previous versions of Drupal and have had time to go to Drupal 7, how many have actually been reading the comments and the code and looking for those new changes, even though you're comfortable with Drupal? Okay, good, good. Because, it's, yeah, it's more than just, you know, new modules in core, new things in the theme layer. Settings PHP, I would definitely advise everybody just sit through it once, read all the stuff, and honestly, you'll be amazed at what is added literally from Drupal 6. So I'm not talking about, you know, backported stuff. I'm not talking about all the cool advanced things that people are tuning 6 for, because that's what's in 7. Uh, 7 alone, it just really has a lot of stuff that everybody should just skim right through, see the things that actually speak to them, and start to get into those, you know, in much more detail. Like Chris was talking about, different databases, being able to actually use caching, salts, all this stuff is very new and very important for Drupal for the mass, okay? So these are features that no longer just the advanced stop cream of the crop are using. It's all now available for us right out of the box. So are we getting into Rappels? In a moment, I have a question. Has anyone here installed